Journey through compound prepositions. Locating in language. Hello learners. Today, we're going on a journey through the world of English grammar, specifically focusing on compound prepositions. These special phrases can add depth and nuance to your English usage, especially when it comes to expressing location. So, let's dive right in. Compound prepositions are prepositions that are formed by two or more words. These can help us describe relationships between different things in a sentence, particularly their location. Some common examples include, on top of, in front of, out of, due to, and, in spite of. Now that we know what compound prepositions are, let's explore how they can help us express location in English. When we want to describe the static location of something, we use certain compound prepositions. This means we're describing where something is located without any movement involved. For instance, consider the phrase, the cat is on top of the refrigerator. Here, on top of, is a compound preposition that indicates where the cat is located. Now, let's say we want to describe the dynamic location of something. This involves movement from one location to another. We use a different set of compound prepositions for this purpose. For example, look at this sentence, the cat jumped out of the box. Here, out of, is the compound preposition that shows the cat's movement from inside the box to outside. When using compound prepositions, it's important to consider perspective. Some compound prepositions, like in front of or behind, depend on the viewer's perspective. For example, the cat is in front of the house could mean different things depending on where the viewer is standing. Remember, the best way to learn and remember these compound prepositions is by practicing. Try creating your own sentences using these compound prepositions to describe locations. Reading a lot and noticing how these prepositions are used in real contexts can also be very beneficial. That's all for today's lesson on compound prepositions for expressing location. I hope this has been helpful and has made the concept clearer for you. Keep practicing and remember, Mastering a language is a journey, not a destination. Happy learning, and I'll see you in the next video.